Okay, so <clears throat> it looks like we are uh, live on Facebook. Uh, today is World Children's Day. And uh, in some parts of the world is uh, celebrated uh, in some parts of the world in my own country, we didn't know uh, about it. Uh, and, um, uh, but uh, I understand that internationally, it's very well recognized as a, you know, World Children's Day, very important. So for with that occasion, uh, we really wanted to uh, bring together, uh, based on their willingness, uh, children that went through what I think is uh, one of the most unacceptable um, situation. They went through tuberculosis. Uh, their parents uh, went with them through tuberculosis. Uh, some of the parents were sick as well, or just the children. And um, I, we are doing this because I think it's very important, not for all of us that we never had TB or we didn't have children with TB and so on to, to speak, but them as parents and children sharing to their parents and children, to other parents and children, what it means this disease and what advice they can have. Uh, and the, it's an amazing uh, opportunity for us uh, to have uh, this uh, uh, chat together. And um, there is some background noise. So Kadira is the host. Can you mute everybody, please, immediately? Thank you so much. So um, that um, today that is the World Children Day, we pay attention to children with TB. Uh, children with TB were neglected because traditionally, till uh, probably, I would say, 10 years ago, uh, children with TB were not even reported as numbers in the reports of WHO and other institutions. And that's because that was how it started being done uh, some many years ago before 2010. And because children with TB are not spreading the disease, uh, they are not transmitting most of the times, it was considered not a priority, believe it or not. So that's why many TB programs were actually not looking or including children with TB. We changed that. So I don't want to look backwards. I want to look forward. And I want to really uh, see what we can do to make this world understand that we have every day 700 children dying of tuberculosis today. There are more than 1.2 million children with TB in the world. And there are around 250,000 children with TB that die every day of tuberculosis. This is not acceptable because it's a disease that it's curable, it is preventable, and we have the treatments, okay? <clears throat> and it's also a very cost-effective investment. So it's difficult to explain to anyone. And in this era of COVID, I want to say that if for COVID we see our children going out with no mask and, you know, kind of there is not that much COVID on children. In tuberculosis, actually, COVID, uh, the tuberculosis actually is not only uh, kids are getting infected, they are getting sick. And as I said, they are also unfortunately dying of TB. But uh, we are running a campaign together with our friends from Hello Kitty uh, to really bring more attention to tuberculosis in children. But this is not a campaign with Hello Kitty. This is having with us here amazing human beings from Tajikistan, from Indonesia, from Pakistan, from Kenya, that as mothers, fathers, or uh, kids went through TB, conquered TB, they are our superheroes of, the, uh, of today, and they are of the superheroes of everybody, because they managed to go through this and they are keen to be here with us today, and they will continue remaining engaged with us to speak about TB. I want to specifically thank our friends from the different Stop TB partnership structures in, uh, uh, in Pakistan, in Tajikistan, in Kenya, our uh, friends uh, uh, in Indonesia uh, for helping us to uh, really be able to interact with these amazing human beings. We have uh, with uh, here us, um, from Tajikistan is Gulnara and Azamjun. Azamjun is 12. Hello. Uh, we have uh, Ani and uh, 
her friend uh, Rio from in, uh, her son Rio from Indonesia, and Rio is uh, eight. Uh, we have with us uh, Shumaila with her father, and Shumaila is eleven. And we have with us um, uh, a hero that I think we met uh, with other occasions before, uh, Tracy. She's seventeen, and she's a fighter uh, in Kenya. Hey, Tracy. <clears throat> So, um, okay, so I want to go to uh, uh, the parents uh, and uh, to you, the kids, and just if you can tell us a few words on how it was to deal with tuberculosis and if the, you know, what it meant to you, uh, what it meant to your family. And if the, you know, so uh, I want to ask first, uh, maybe you, uh, Gulnara, uh, you know, how it was to deal with TB uh, for you, but also for Azam June. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu uh, I am the mother uh, of Azam John sitting here. Uh, Azam John has uh, uh, conquered uh, 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 XDR TB. As a boy, man in the I mean, so high memory still in Tajribo, but it's your dushwar boot. Mahtaki, <laughs> If you can translate, and when you translate, speak a bit louder, please. You are muted from the translation. Okay, go ahead. Right. Uh, initially, when uh, my child has developed TB, it was a very difficult moment for me, for others in the family. It was a time when uh, everyone felt uh, uh, horrible and uh, uncertain about what it is uh, and what to do about this situation. The disease has started actually when, uh, when uh, the Azamjon's grandmother has passed away from tuberculosis. And all the family members were screened for TB immediately after the death of grandmother. And it was identified that two of my children had uh, TB. On 10th uh, July, uh, Zamjon was admitted at uh, the TB sanatorium. For four months, uh, Zamjon was uh, on treatment in the sanatorium. Uh, it meant uh, uh, different medications were given to Zamjon, but no difference. Uh, on his, uh, no improvement on his treatment. The x-ray showed that there wasn't any change in Azam John's condition. And uh, it was uh, when 
uh, a new medication uh, has entered, has been available in Dushanbe. And uh, we were lucky to be uh, uh, having access to this medication. And we were lucky actually to have access to this medication, which named Dilamani. And my child has started using that medication. And uh, with this uh, medication, uh, there was change and better condition in my child's condition, health condition. And he was uh, discharged home and his uh, eating, his appetite and his uh, ability to go around has improved. In, during eight months, he was uh, in total in the hospital. Uh, in 10th February 2018, he was discharged home. Okay. Actually, when my child had TB, it was really difficult for me. When he went to school, he always returned home uh, crying because uh, others knew that uh, he had TB and others mocked him and uh, told him not to sit with him in the same desk. And it was always that he cried uh, while coming back uh, from school. There were times uh, I, I had also to have a bad feeling and I had to cry and I had to take my child back to school to explain my teacher that this is a, a disease that uh, is curable. And, uh, and it was uh, the time when I approached the uh, medicine Sanfanti in Tajikistan, uh, the doctors, uh, MSF in Tajikistan doctors, and uh, I, uh, uh, I explained that my child is facing this uh, condition and uh, we don't want also him to delay or skip uh, his classes. And time came when he became uh, and, uh, well and uh, he returned uh, back to school. And uh, the doctors from MSF visited our school and uh, did some explanatory uh, talk with our school people. And after that, my child was able to continue uh, his schooling uninterrupted. Yeah. It's very uh, heartbreaking, Gulnara, what you say. And uh, uh, I'm really happy to see how uh, well uh, Azam Juni, he's very elegant. I like, uh, he's very elegant uh, today as well. Uh, and uh, I'm very grateful for you uh, sharing with uh, us uh, your story and the very difficult times uh, that he went through and he's a real fighter. So thank you for that. I will, um, I will come back to ask Azam Jun an advice for all the kids, but I'm going now to uh, Shumaila. And I know Shumaila, uh, you are 11 and I'm very grateful you are here with your father. Hello, sir. Salam Alaikum. And um, if our translator can help us uh, with, uh, I don't know if it's Shumaila telling us or her father, uh, you know, similarly, uh, the, the, a little bit about uh, the story of having TB and, you know, how, how did it go? Hello, we, uh, the, I think the colleagues, the, the, our friends are muted, so we cannot hear you.
Can you unmute? Can they unmute? Can you help them unmute? Excellent, excellent now. Yeah, we can hear. I can hear you, sir. Yeah. जब बुखार था खांसी थी और भूख भी लगती थी और क्या बोले डॉक्टर के पास ले गए डॉक्टर के पास लेके गए एक्स करवाए और उन्होंने बोला कि ठीक है तो मैंने छह महीने दवाई खाई और दवाई खाते ही मुझे भूख लग जाती थी तो उल्टी भी आती थी आप उसको मिट कर दो Okay, so can we have a bit of translation? I don't hear the translator. I think you should just go near them. So she says uh, that uh, it was one and a half a year back when she was diagnosed. She had high fever. She has no history of TB. She was taken to the central hospital. She had her sputum tested as well as got her x-ray done. And she had to take the medicine continuously for six months. And whenever she used to take medicine, she used to feel like vomiting. And later she used to feel hungry afterwards. Okay. Okay. Was it difficult to continue all the treatment? To stay six months on treatment? Who was helping her to keep the treatment? she says that because the medicine has to be taken on empty stomach, it was quite difficult. And whenever she used to take medicine, she used to feel a kind of nausea. And her mother supported her throughout the treatment, but uh, she used to, she like, it, it didn't feel normal till she was uh, finally cured. Uh, Did you continue going to school, Shumaila? Did you manage to continue school? Her father says that they had to pay for the x-ray themselves when the diagnosis has to be done. So there should be my years in which it is assured that if a person is coming from a poor settings, they should be provided free, free access to treatment and free access to a respectable treatment, uh, as well as a diagnosis facility across board. And there should be my years taken at the part of governments and maybe uh, institutions that can help assure this because poor people cannot afford having a kind, kind of uh, expensive diagnosis at all. That's a very good advice, sir. That's a very good advice. Okay, so I, if you can translate, I will come back to Shumaila because I want her to tell me an advice for the children in the world that are with TB, how they can get the courage that she had. But while she does that, I want to move to Ani uh, and ask Ani, Ani, in few words, uh, you and Rio, uh, how did you go through uh, tuberculosis? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, if Rio want to tell us a few things, I will be very happy to hear him as well. Uh, thank you, Lusika. Uh, my name is Ani and my son is Rio. So uh, uh, I have suffered from TB two times. The, the first is in 2011. I was sick with MDRTB, and that time was I was pregnant him, and 
and and then uh, in addition to the art standard uh, certainly and side effect experience and one of the hardest thing for me is was uh, discrimination and it was I face as a person with TB while giving a birth and that time I was placed in a glass in uh, like a isolation isolation room and then that moment my privacy and my confidentiality was ignored and in 2015 me and my child get contracted by uh, sensitive TB we have that uh, contact is from my brother he Rio's uncle so uh, that time Rio was three years old and uh, in that time uh, I already have two children uh, who were under five years old so that time is you know uh, I, of course I really really busy taking care of it you know besides at that time I was also sick and then it's like I really, really feeling guilty for not being able to take a, to take care of him until finally I and he also contracted again from my brother, and uh, the I have to keep away from my second child to you know from getting infected from me and uh my son so it's like i i never take off my mask when while i breastfeeding him uh and thanks god uh, my second child was not infected by tb that moment and uh i was so afraid that moment so because rio is very very skin, skinny uh but he, he is a strong guy because Rio never complained and he was very smart when taking uh, to take the medicine. And then uh, that time I really, really freak out when I have to find out that my child must take the same medicine like me. I know that the medicine is have a lot of side effect. So, uh, Wait, maybe Rio want to say something? Yes, if he, yes, Rio. So what Rio should tell us is what I will ask also as I'm June, what I will ask Shumaila and of course Tracy is <clears throat> if he has, if there are other I, children. I am now girl of TP and now I can eat anything without now she. Yeah. Excellent, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Rio. You yeah. are a superhero, a good yeah. fighter for TB. You are a good fighter. Okay, um, I will come back to all the kids to tell us something for uh, their message to the other kids because there are so many other kids in your situation. And I want the translation to translate. And we need to give them the courage and the power to go through the disease and the treatment, to go through the stigma that you explained, to go through the side effects of the drugs. And because we get so little attention, we went to this situation in which we want to use this kind of platform to share that. But Tracy, dear, you also get, went through TB. Can you tell us a little bit how it went, how it was, and you know how, how did you manage to go through the treatment and so on? Uh, and Tracy, you are muted, so you need to unmute. Tracy? Yeah, needs to be a bit unmuted, yeah. You, you are still muted. Excellent. Excellent. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Tracy. Hi, I'm Tracy from Kenya. 
Ungoma County, 17 years old. I'm here because of tuberculosis. In the year 2019, my mom also had TB. She was also was screened and she was TB free. So she was taking isolated, isolated for six months and she also finished. As I'm talking now, three of us in our, house, in our household are currently on TB treatment. How how are you cope? How, how difficult it is the treatment, Tracy? How do you how do you manage? Like for me, it's eighteen months treatment. It's too long. Me as a student, it's it's ten years. Yeah. Do you do you have uh, any side effects? Do you feel dizzy or yeah. nauseous? I I had I had body itchiness, itchiness on the eye, joint pains. Sometimes I could not bend. I numbness on one hand. At some time, I felt tired. Loss, loss of appetite. And do you manage to continue the studies, uh, Tracy? I know you're a student. <clears throat> can you can you continue studying? At some time, I had to stop my online education because I used to cough too much. So I had to stop my online classes and my parents could not afford the tuition teacher because I was coughing excess. And that, as a student, it was a blow. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear this and I hope you will go through this very quickly. And I'm really very grateful for you being with us because uh, you go through a lot of uh, difficulties and uh, you need to continue fighting with the disease and fighting with this treatment. I, I, I really, uh, we will uh, do whatever it takes to, to be able to support you and all of you, obviously, in going forward with, uh, I mean, Trace is still going on, but uh, all of you uh, being uh, done and so on. Um, um, as I said, I, I would like, uh, you know, there are a lot of other people in your situation. I noted here, uh, you know, uh, Shumaila's father said about the, the fact that they had to pay for the treatment, uh, for the investigation, that it is not easy. Tracy, you spoke and you said very clearly that, you know, there are side effects, the treatment is long, it has an impact on your studies, it has an impact on your income. Ani, you spoke, uh, and as well as Gulnara, about the stigma and the need for drugs. And, you know, we heard from Gulnara very clearly that the, with the initial treatment, Azam June was not doing well. So there are many things that you, you as, as parents and children with TB want to see uh, for the future. But now I, I, I just want to go to the children. So I, I, I will start with Azam June and uh, I think what if he will speak with other children that are going through TB, uh, if our translator from Tajikistan can help us, uh, what will Azamjun say to other kids his age uh, to to be able to go through tuberculosis? What will he advise them to, to do? And then I will go to Shumaila, and then I'll go to Ani, and then I'll go to Tracy. So can Azamjun tell us what he thinks? If he speaks with other kids, what will he tell them? Unmute him, unmute him, he is muted. Salam, my name is Azam Don. I am a member of the Khudam Kupani Aftam, but at the time, the Khudam Kupani Aftam. He is muted again, somebody muted him, why? Unmute him. Uh, hello, again, my name is Azam Don. I would like to say to 
my friends to boys of my age that uh, uh, always uh, uh, never uh, give up uh, taking your medicines when you are on treatment. And uh, second, I want to say that wash your hands frequently. Uh, that is uh, uh, every time after you play or uh, uh, very often. Can you ask him what he wants to become when he grows up? What is his, what, what job he wants to have? And, and unmute him, please. Unmute him. Uh, if I grow up, I want to become a doctor. Oh my God, okay. Can you unmute him? I think I like so much how he speaks. He's such a, a strong boy. So uh, can you, can you okay. unmute him? Okay, excellent. I'm going to treat uh, those who are ill. In Sliman, Sihacha. In Muslima, Sihacha. So that uh, they will also uh, become healthy, recover. He stayed a lot in the hospital. Okay, so uh, and and what is he uh, what what is he playing? With? What is he uh, you know playing with now? Or what games is he playing right now? Football, tennis. Football and tennis. Bravo, Azam Jun. Thank you for being a strong boy, and uh, we will. Uh, you are an inspiration for us, and I hope we will be able to to uh, meet you, to have uh, more interaction with you. And I hope you will become a doctor, as I'm doing. Bravo, as I'm doing. Shumaila, my dear, girls are a bit more more shy and more delicate, but. You were a very strong uh, girl going through uh, TB for six months and all the challenges you had. So for all the other girls out there, uh, you know, what will be that you can tell them that you want them to, to know or do about tuberculosis? Um. उनके माँबाप उनका पूरा ट्रीटमेंट सारा मुकम्मल करवाएं दवाइयाँ सारे कंप्लीट करें ले और डॉक्टर से करें She said that I will recommend that uh, uh, their parents should take care. They should consult the doctor timely and should follow the treatment to the end completely. And in between, while we, I was translating, she mentioned that she was not able to go to her school for a period of six months. And while she was saying so, she uh, literally started crying. So maybe we should also work on this stigma that if someone suffers, if a kid suffers with TB, we should have measures in place that they don't have to drop out of school for that time. Yes. I just, I just had this interaction while we were talking, so I, I like to share it. It's actually very useful. I saw her uh, during uh, that she was a bit upset and I didn't know. And it's heartbreaking that uh, you heard uh, from everybody, Gulnara, uh, Shumaila, from Tracy, the impact that it has on children, not only stigma, but not even able to continue your school. So uh, we will put that as, a, as one of the key asks. Actually, there are some uh, uh, documents on, on stigma that were produced. I think our friend Blessy from uh, GCTA also produced a, a little booklet on TB in children, and that was an important angle. So I think it's something that we have to work. Okay, Shumaila, what do you want to become when you grow up? What, do you, what job do you want to have? Uh, she also wants to become a doctor when she grows up. <laughs> yes, and you will become a doctor. Bravo. Yes, yes, yes. You will become, we will support you, Shumaila, to do that, okay? So for the other, uh, okay, so you, you mentioned your advice for the children, so I think that's, uh, that's really uh, good. So, Ani, Ani, my dear, um, can Rio, uh, can you ask Rio, can you tell Rio to, to tell us what he will tell to the other boys like him uh, for TB and, uh, yeah. yeah, can you ask him? Yeah. If you are sick, 
If you are sick, don't stop taking the medicine until you get better like me. Oh my God. Okay, that's really good. Rio, Rio, very good. You should speak with all the kids your age. We should make you champions per, you know, in your regions and in your countries to advise all the children what should do. Rio, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be jet pilot. Jet pilot, okay, so we have two doctors and a pilot. Okay, it's good, you can transport us and the doctors with your, with your pl plane, okay? Tracy, uh, uh, in your age group, there are actually a lot of uh, young uh, students that are facing the same problems as you. You are now going through the treatment and uh, it's not easy, so uh, we will have to support you a lot. Uh, what will be uh, the advice for all the kids, uh, all the young uh, teenagers your age, uh, if they get TB or not to get TB? What, what would you tell if you had in front of you colleagues uh, your age uh, that have TB, uh, but also that don't have TB? What would you like to tell them? Like children, we are the best ambassadors stopping TB. The TB sensitization we get from school let us share the message with our parents, friends, and community. We don't have to wait until we are sick with all the TB symptoms. One sign is enough. You just have to go for immediate TB testing. And remember, Kenya, TB screening is free. Sputum tests are also done for free. If one is, is found to have TB, the, the counseling and treatment is also free. Yes, that is very good. Tracy, what, what, what direction you want to take with your studies? What are you more interested to study or to become? When you, when you graduate. Yeah. My ambition is to become a lawyer. In Italy, my ambition was to become a lawyer, but after a medical doctor, so that I the help community. Excellent. I think whatever direction, medical doctor or lawyer, you will be very helpful in the community. Nurse as well. These are very useful jobs, as you can see. So uh, it's really amazing that we have here with us three future doctors, because I know you will become what you want, and one jet pilot. So we are in great hands and in great company here. So I took a lot of your time. I am very grateful for you making the time to be with us. I really, uh, we will follow up with the Stop TB partnerships to see uh, in your countries, to see how uh, we can further support you. But also what Tracy told us is very useful. She said, children are the best ambassadors to NTB, to Stop TB. So we will try to see because I see you are very uh, active and uh, we now became to get warmed up a little bit. And uh, I'm very grateful uh, for you sharing your thoughts, the kids and the parents. So it will be really good. We will try to continue this and see how we can help you uh, to become and mobilize in uh, Tajikistan, in Pakistan, in uh, Indonesia and in Kenya, other children around. And, you know, uh, sometimes we feel shy or worried. We should not be because you actually learn us a lesson that we should not give up. And you went through so much that you are the ones that you can explain to the others what you went through. And what it came across and our friend from uh, Pakistan pointed out is a lot of stigma that you had uh, in, in going through tuberculosis. So... Uh, we will continue to follow up on this to let you know that next week we will have children from the, uh, because the time zone was uh, not uh, easy to do, we will have children from the Americas, from the North America and South America with their parents, because TB is everywhere. So if you, we will let you know if you want to see what they, what they had to do with in US and in Brazil and in Colombia. And then we will do, uh, we will continue doing this, but I want to 
make you champions in your places. And I see how, uh, how cute everybody is here. And, uh, um, you know, like uh, Arzan, Jun, Arzan Jun, you are very elegant with your bow tie and so on. Everybody is very cute here. I like the colors. And I think Rio, you will be a jet uh, pilot. And uh, Tracy, you can be the engine because you are going through this now and you are uh, uh, slightly older, not too much <laughs> than, our, than our other friends here. So I want to thank you very much for being here with us today. And, uh, you know, God bless you and uh, salam alaikum and everything uh, that is rightly said. And uh, uh, we will continue to engage with you through the Stop TV partnerships in the countries uh, and uh, so on. So thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Kadira, can you take a photo?